welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today I like to test how near I can come with my FD imprinter to an SLA quality. For sure I will not reach that quality of course because the quality of a SLA printer is much more detailed. But how far can I go to this quality? So the idea was born and I both several nozzles. The first nozzle I have tested was a 0.2 millimeter nozzle and to be honest that was a catastrophe. It was completely and permanently blocked. It was really not funny to print with a 0.2 nozzle so I decided to switch to the 0.3 nozzle and this nozzle worked very well. So the prints what you see now are all printed with 0.3 nozzle. First, I started to print two calibration cubes. My first calibration cube was a 10 by 10 by 10 millimeter size, and the next one was a 5 by 5 by 5 millimeter sized calibration cube. I also printed a 3 by 3 by 3 millimeter calibration cube, but this one was already so little that the quality was not good enough anymore to show here. Still, you was able to see the X, Y and the Z, but like I said, the quality was not interesting anymore to start further investigations on that part. Then I printed a standard calibration cube with a 0.3 nozzle and with a 0.4 nozzle to compare them and to see the differences in the layer high. I printed with a layer high with 0.1 for the 0.3 nozzle and with a 0.2 for the 0.4 nozzle. I placed here my little 5 mm cube on the one printed with the 0.3 nozzle. And on the first look they look very similar, but if we make a much more near visibility of that printouts, we see the difference in the layers very good. We see here very good on the right side the 0.4 nozzle printed cube with a much more visible layers and on the other side the layers are more or less, are more or less not visible anymore. So that's a beautiful uh, result at my opinion and this bring me to a new idea so I printed the next part and this was a ring with a interesting profile. I don't know if it's only my view on that ring but it really looks like silver but of course it's not silver it's only a PLA with a silver effect. Very nice printed and uh, yeah you can't see here the layers anymore because they are not visible in that profile of the ring so the details was coming out very well not visible anymore that this is a 3D print also not if you make here a close-up. No layers to see. Beautiful. After this print I tried something else. I printed a Benji. And the small Benji have a size of 40%. The big one is a 100% sized Benji. So lesser than 40% I was not able to print anymore with my 0.3 nozzle because the layer white of 0.2 I was used to print with the 0.3 nozzle is already the calculated smallest layer white you can use. If you print smaller than 40% some of the details of that Benji will not be printed anymore. But anyway, the print is not too bad. This printout I have done at once. I used my standard settings for support structures. I will show you in this video, I show you on the top, uh, if you like to see more details. I printed with a PLA and glitter parts inside and look how detailed it was printed. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful you can't see any layers anymore and also the 
overhangs was printed very well. A beautiful result, in my opinion, which of course is not like a SLA printer, but the quality is unbelievable, isn't it? By the way, I was using my Genius to print all these parts. Why? Because it have a direct extruder and the direct extruder have more control on the filament by retracting it. And this makes it much more easier to print such wonderful details like we can see here. A quick view on Cura. I printed all of that prints with a 0 0.1 layer high and with a layer wide of 0 0.22. The speed settings I decreased to 25 and 12.5 for walls. So that's already very slow. I increased the fan speed to 100% because I print with PLA. But to make that printer much more slower, I also changed the machine acceleration, the feed rates and the jerks to really make sure to have as less as possible vibrations and maximum quality by printing out these parts. So that's it already for my side. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like it a little bit, thanks to give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Happy printing. Bye.